Hey YouTube, uh, Orphis8. Um, today I'm gonna show you guys how to replace the thermal paste on your uh, NVIDIA 9600 GT. Um, the uh, it pretty much goes for any GPU how this is gonna work, but specifically this one is for the 9600. Um, I haven't cleaned this thing ever since I bought it back in uh, 2000, 2008, I believe. Anyway, so I have, I've never cleaned this card, so um, I'm actually preparing it to try out a new technology called Hybrid SLI, which allows you to use your ATI GPU as the main um, one, which will process like uh, visuals, like uh, textures, models, and all that stuff, while it allows you to use your NVIDIA GPU as a hybrid, as a um, as a physics only card, meaning that like in a physics supported game this card will be doing all of the uh, the thinking for the physics technology while your ATI card does everything else so you know it takes the load off your card while you're still being able to use physics features and stuff so anyway so uh, let's get into this um, so like I said I have the NVIDIA GeForce 9600 GT by BFG and if you guys didn't know, as far as as far as I'm aware, BFG is out of business. Their their websites are down. I, I can't get a hold of customer service. You know, everything is just totally out of whack. So anyway, so uh, to start removing your heatsink on your GPU, you need to flip the card over, and um, you're going to need uh, the essentials that you're going to need for this removal and cleaning is that you're going to need a screwdriver, a Phillips. A uh, small screwdriver, not like a large one. You're going to need some cloths. You're going to need thermal compound that you're going to be applying. You're going to need um, alcohol to remove the thermal paste. In my case, I actually have a thermal paste remover kit, which works really nice by cleaning and polishing the CPU for the new thermal paste. But that's a little overkill, but I bought it anyway. Not for this project, but you know. So uh, to start off, take your Phillips, and you're going to see all these screws along the GPU located there. And um, you're going to want to unscrew them in like kind of a crisscross pattern, so that the tent, so that like when you're taking it off, uh, if you take off like all of this half, this half still held down, but this side's being pushed up. So you don't want that to happen. So just take them off in a crisscross pattern. So, and don't lose the screws. And there's little springs on the screws too that come off I, right here. So, taking this one off, I'm going across it to the other one. I'm going to go down the middle. Go up here. I'm going to go far down, and this helps take the uh, tension or pressure off of the card. And then I'm going to loosen them just a tiny bit, all of the screws that I still have on there. And now that it's all off, I'm going to remove the screws. Alright, now that I have all the screws removed, we're done with this side of the card. So you're going to flip it back over. And to remove the sink off of the actual card, um, requires a tiny bit of force. Just grab grab it via the heat sink and use one of your fingers on the board and slightly jiggle it until it becomes loose. And lift up on 
the right side where the not toward the front where you would mount it in your case up just a tiny bit maybe like quarter of an inch and slide this end out you should be able to just take it take it right off now now there is um there is the plug for the fan which is on this side. Oh my gosh, is that dusty. Here's my plug and um, this is really dusty. I don't know if you can see this, but I mean there's like a quarter of an inch of dust on like all the the sinks, even on the around the CPU. Or, I mean the GPU, sorry. There's dust here. I mean, look at Ugh, it's really dusty. So this is where the cloth comes and you're going to want to remove all the dust that you can from any of the, the sinks that you can on your GPU. Um, use Q-tips, whatever you want, but remove it all and um, then we're going to remove the, uh, the, the thermal paste. So uh, I'm going to remove all the dust off and then I'm going to resume the video so you guys don't have to watch 7-10 minutes of me removing dust off my video card so Okay, so now that um, all of the dust has been cleaned off of all the components, um, I cleaned off, uh, I used uh, Q-tips, by the way, uh, I find them very effective for this. Um, I cleaned off all the sinks, um, I cleaned around the, um, the GPU heat sink, I cleaned off the uh, PCB board and all the dust off of it, so it should run real nice and cooler now. Um, so now I'm going to show you guys how to take off the actual fan sink from the frame that covers it to get all the dust out of the fins and off the fan. So the first thing that you're going to need to do is take off the fan cable that goes under the, the board. Simply just pull it up and it will come out. And uh, just move this over slightly. You're going to, along the sides of the card, you're going to see small little screws. Um, on my card, it happens that there's three on each side. So you're going to take, uh, not your regular screwdriver, but like a micro uh, screwdriver, and you're going to unscrew the six screws. And... Um, Uh, make sure that these are magnets. The screwdrivers are magnets, by the way, because these screws are very tiny. Flip it around and unscrew these three. Now that all the screws are removed, take the sink off. Uh, I simply just flip it over and take it off. 
and there's the sink. It's really dusty, but it's, you know it's not terrible. Um, and then here's the sink, and here's the fan. And you can take the fan off if you want by the three screws located under the fins. And uh, I'm probably going to clean it out anyway because I haven't cleaned this car in like three years or something. So check your fins and. Uh, you guys probably can't see this, but there's a lot of blockage on the fins here and here. This side seems clean for some reason. Um, a real easy way to check it is hold it into a light and look down through the fins to see the blockage. Um, the best way to clean fins is usually with an air compressor. Just shoot it, shoot it through the fins to get all the crap out of it, and then clean up whatever else you can. So um, I'm gonna I'm gonna clean this and then I'll resume it again. Um, I'm going to reassemble it though just to save time. So, uh, see you guys in like, millisecond or whatever.